The GLM4 voice is an open source end-to-end -end speech large language model, which means that we can talk in natural language and it is going to respond in the natural language as well. And the response is going to be in real time, which means that you can use this large language model to have a fun conversation with it just like you are talking to a friend. So let's quickly see how you can locally install it and let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so let's get started. You can see that right now I am in the official Hugging Face model card for the GLM4 Voice 9B model. Here they have provided us all the different features for the model and this is the official GitHub repo for the model. You can see that in just a few days it has already got 152 folds and 2000 stars which is great. So now let's quickly see how you can actually install it. So open a new terminal and inside the terminal you have to run a bunch of commands in order to install it locally. So firstly we need to locally clone this repo and to do so we are going to run the command git clone recurse submodules and then provide the path of my github repo. Once you do that it will start the cloning and will clone everything inside the folder called glm4 voice. Now let's go inside this folder by using the command cd glm4 voice and once you are inside the folder we need to install all the requirements but before that we need to install accelerate. So for that we are going to run the command pip install accelerate and once the package is successfully downloaded Next, we are going to run the command pip install r requirements.txt to download all the packages which are present inside requirement.txt file. Next, we need to install the git lfs and for that we are going to run the command sudo apt get install git lfs. Once you do that, it will start downloading everything which is needed for the git lfs. Once this is done, now the next thing is to clone the decoder from the hugging phase and in order to do that, we are going to run the command git clone and then provide the path of the glm4 voice decoder from the hugging face. So after downloading all the dependencies and cloning the hugging face repo and the github repo of the model, now we only need to run the application which comprises of a frontend and a backend. So firstly we are gonna start the backend. For that you have to run the command python model server.py and the host is gonna be localhost then you have to provide the model path in this correct sequence. Once you do that simply hit enter and it is going to start downloading everything which is needed to start the backend. You can see that it is downloading the model and downloading the different safe tensors which are required for the model. After downloading all the safe tensors and the shards, it is going to provide us a URL on which our backend is running. Now we need to start our frontend. For that we have to open another terminal and then in that new terminal we have to run the command python webdemo.py and then you have to provide the tokenizer path. You don't need to worry about all of these commands. They are already present inside the GitHub repo. You simply have to scroll down a little bit. And under the usage, you will see all the different steps that I've just performed. So you can copy all of these commands from the GitHub repo. Let's run this. You will see that it will start downloading the safe tensors for the front end of the model. And then here you can see that on this URL, our front end is ready and is running on the port 8888. So let's go to this URL. This is how the interface of the GLM4 voice demo model looks like. Here we have a box for the chatbot. If we scroll down a little bit, you will see that we have two different input modes, either audio or the text. And also have the option to upload any audio file and then we have a button to submit the audio which will generate the response. So firstly, I'm going to test out the text input mode. For the input text, you have to provide the prompts. I'm going to provide it. A very generic question, just like I'm having a discussion with it, that I have a sore throat and what should I eat to ease it. Once you click on the submit button, you will see that it will start processing your prompt. Alright, so after a few seconds, our response is generated. Let's play it and hear the response. For our sore throat, it's best to stick to gentle, soothing foods. Try warm soup or broth, which can be soothing and help coat the throat. Also, honey is known for its soothing properties. You can mix it with tea or have it straight. So this was the response of the model and you can see that everything which is being returned by this model in the form of speech is also being returned right here in the form of text. And since the model provides you the response in the runtime, so that is why there is slight glitch and a few pauses in the audio, but otherwise the response is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and try out the audio input mode. And for that you have two options, either you can upload an audio file or you can use the microphone to upload it. So I'm going to use the microphone. And now once you click on this record button, it will allow you to record your prompt. Oh no, so for some reason it is saying that no microphone found. 
So I'm going to upload an audio file in which I'm going to store my prompt. So here I have uploaded an audio file that contains my prompt. So let me show you what is in the file. This one is better. Rama 3.1 or TPD 4. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on the submit button. It is going to process my audio format. So the response is generated and here in the text output, I can see it is providing me something I guess in Chinese language. Let's see if the speech response is also in the same language or is in the English. Lama 3.1 and GPT-4 are strong language. Lama 3.1 in Chinese language. Okay, so I don't know where, but it has provided me the response in Chinese language, even though I asked the question in the English language. Let's try again one more time. So this is my new prompt. What one is better, Lama 3.1s or GPT-4s? Provide your answer in English language. So now, let's see if it provides me the answer in English or again in Chinese. Onwards, so the response is generated and this time, the textual response also shows that the response is in the English language. Let's play it and see if it is actually in English language or not. Lama 3.1 and GPT-4 are both powerful language models. Lama 3.1 performs well in Chinese scenarios, while GPT-4 excels in a wide range of tasks. Which one is better depends on your needs. If you need text generation or natural language processing, Lama 3.1 might be a good choice. But if you need more general purpose... Okay, so you can see that now, once I provided it the prompt, that I want the response in English language, so it provided me the response in the English language. So overall, it is a great speech-to-speech -speech large language model among all of its types. It does require a few changes in its interface as well as in the processing of the speech. But there is potential in this tool and I'm sure that it will perform really well in the future with a few more updates. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.